So here I am checking in for part three of the Omega Ruby review. I am sick, so I apologize for my voice. I might keep this short just because I don't know how long my voice can hold out. Um, the electric gym was easy. I kind of, this is kind of the part of the game where I like, I remember playing this a lot and it was sort of like, oh, these Pokemon again. But the electric gym was easy. I mean, by the time I got to it, I was ridiculously over leveled and I had like three different grass Pokemon which resisted and I also had um, a Geodude. So, handled it very easily. I am noticing more and more some of the, uh, Enhancements they made to like the Pokedex and how to find different stuff and it's all really cool I like the little feature where you see all the Pokemon and all the little symbols of the Pokemon up top when you scroll And so you can scroll through to find the one you're looking for It's it's a lot of cool little um, A lot of cool little advancements to the game This generation has really made a bunch of nice little um, Cosmetic and informational and organizational advancements especially based Especially they streamlined a bunch of stuff from the third generation. Like now it's all on that touch screen. The touch screen is really nice when it comes to all the menus and stuff for Pokemon. Definitely. Um, the next few gyms I know are going to be a fire gym just because I remember it. And then I think based upon the name puns, it's like uh, the normal and then the, the flying. So um, the Geodude I picked up, it's now a Graveler, is going to be really useful for that. I mean, I used them so many times. That's, that's the problem at this point, is I, I'm trying to figure out like which Pokemon I want to use. And I've, I've, played, I've played the third generation so much that I, I'm having trouble picking and choosing. But then again, there's also some of them that are slightly different this time that I'm kind of gravitating towards, like the fairy types. Like I like the fairy types in the last game, and some of the ones that are retroactively fairy are still in this game, so they seem pretty useful. Uh, I also picked up like... Uh, I guess it's technically after the third gym, but I did pick up like a level 24 Surskit that had Hydro Pump. So I might play around with him a little bit. I uh, still got the Ralts. He's probably going to be a big part of the team. Just or I can sort of evolve now. Just because he's that fairy type, I think he's going to be useful. So I think the only two core ones I have at this point are the, are the Trico Evolution and the Ralts. I haven't really made any... any Solid choices other than that. Though I did pick up a couple uh, couple items. I got the Alizite and the Maynectrite. So um, I might I might go with that for an electric Pokemon. I've used him before. He's, he's fine. I've just used him so many times. But being a Mega Evolution might, might sway my opinion towards him. I found one that had Electro Ball. And I was trying to breed it into a better young one. But I, I did made the foolish mistake of... Uh, of forgetting that that was his first move, so it got copied over in the daycare center. So I, I haven't hatched the egg yet. Hopefully it has it, or else I'm like, eh, well, I, I guess I'll deal with it either way. But I figured my nature could be so damn fast that Electro Ball would be pretty powerful. But we'll see what happens. I'll check in after the fourth gym, which is the fire gym, which I'm going to destroy because I have a Gyarados and a, and a, a seagull thing and the graveler and... Some other water poke. Surf's kid. I think there's another one I'm forgetting. Like, I might use an Azrael, maybe. Just because of the fairy type. That might be fun. But I will destroy the fire gym. And I will check in with you next time.